Hello, hello. Kenny Evans here, another car video. And the topic of this video is fresh and fit drama. But before I get into that, just gotta let you guys know. Um, of course, this channel is not only about dating, relationships, it's also about um, health, wealth, mindset. You know, I'm here to help men and women become the best they can be in all of those aspects of life and in all aspects of life. You know what I mean? So um, that is what I do. Help people be the best they can be in all aspects of life. You know, and on top of that, um, if you're new or if you've been here for a while and you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification button. Um, also hit that like button if you just want to support me. You know, I definitely appreciate it. You know, we, we this is a, uh, you know, so that is all I got for y'all here right now. So uh, let us get into this topic. It is a lot going on from this past uh, past couple weeks. You know what I mean? Really past couple months. But I'll get into that with Fresh and Frit, Fresh and Fits and all the people that have been associated with them. You know what I mean? So over these past couple weeks, a lot of drama. You know, so um, I'm going to get into it, but I'm going to break it down, make it a little bit bite sized everything, you know, so this video is not too long. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot. Fresh and fit drama, you know, so let us get into this. First and foremost, it starts off with Anna Quinn Fitness. Myra reached out to her on face on uh, not Facebook, Instagram. And initially, she didn't respond. She left him on red until her friend talked to her about it. Say, hey, they got a big channel. You should really get on the show. And then she responded, Myron. Long story short, um, he tried to hit on her indirectly, pretty much saying that he doesn't um, collab with girls. He's not dating. No pressure, though. It's kind of weak. Very um, indirect. She says she doesn't really know him, and at the end of the day, they didn't collab, and, um, you know, yeah, Myra's a little hurt, he went on and explained, you know, uh, Anna Quinn, she did a little survey for the people on her, in her Instagram, they said they were pretty much, uh, they didn't like what Myron did, Myron made a response video saying that she tried to ruin his business and just was, um, you know, being uh she was being disrespectful and a queen made a response video there showing that all that stuff was a lie for the most part and myron told his fallen to go and roast anna quinn and he let out her instagram and uh yeah you know and then she just she's been having it ever since they've been his following fresh and fit following they've been going at her you know, so after all that, um, Abram Preach uh, called out Myron for having a seeking arrangements uh, profile. It pretty much is where you're a sugar daddy who pays women to hang out with you or have sex with you. You know, but you're more of a rich guy. You're an elite guy with money who pays women as opposed to just a, you know, a common prostitute, you know, so... Uh, Abram Preach called him out for that, for being a hypocrite, because he called them out for doing that on on one of their shows, uh, No Jumper, um, and all that. And then they called uh, Abram Preach, uh, or at least uh, Abba, they called him Blue Pill, because he likes to pay for sex. And lo and behold, Myron's paying for sex. You know, and um, yeah. So then... Um, Fresh and Fit have a response. They're pretty much talking bad about, you know, Auburn Preach. You know, uh, Fre uh, Myron talks bad about um, Preach's countries and country ha of Haiti. Talks bad about his wife. Obviously talks bad about what they said and called them out. You know, and uh, I guess they're a little hurt about having them on the show. And then they, you know, made a video about them. You know, and then um, they challenge, Fresh and Fit challenge Alvin Preach to a boxing match. 
I mean, I don't know what that would have proved. It was very strange. Um, just a lot of ego, you know, and, uh, you know, Auburn Preach, they accepted. They accepted the, the match, you know, and then lo and behold, fresh and fit, they back out and they issue apology and say pretty much they don't want to have any drama with Auburn Preach and they're not here for that. Then you got Nina Unrated. She does a video saying that pretty much Fresh and Fit and uh, their producer, whoop, <laughs> my bad, Chris, were sexually harassing her. They just all wanted to have sex with her. Of course, she turned them down. Um, and because they didn't want to have sex with her, they didn't let her on their show. Um, I know I saw her on one of their shows, but it was the group one as opposed to having the individual one. They let her on the late night show, but not the individual show, the one by herself. So, and yeah, they wanted to have sex with her. They wanted also sexual content with her and, uh, she did, she refused. So they didn't let her have the individual show, the main show during the day. So, um, yeah, that was pretty crazy there. It's just a lot of stuff I learned about them that I just did not expect. And, you know, it was very shocking, um, considering how they promote themselves and what they say and what they preach, <laughs> you know, so just amazing. You just never know with some people. Um, but after that, uh, Anna Quinn, she made a video about, um, potentially losing her baby because of all the stress that she has been going through um, from Fresh and Fit's following, harassing her and talking bad about her on Instagram. You know, she goes through the whole spiel, spiel uh, shows, you know, proof, evidence. Um, she has a, uh, a lawyer approved message and yeah and she's pregnant <laughs> she's pregnant forgot to mention she's pregnant you know and uh you know even fresh and fit were talking bad about her you know that she sleeps around and all this and you know so yeah that was pretty crazy there and then later on a dude that they used to fresh and fit used to be cool with um breaks into their show while they're recording the nightcap show with the women, you know, and he wants to fight fresh because, or wants to fight fit. He wants to fight Myron, who is fit, and the fresh and fit uh, duo because he says he's been talking, talking bad about him. You know what I mean? So that whole thing happened. Nothing happened. You know, pretty much uh, Myron had a gun, you know, and uh, threatened to shoot him pretty much if he would have came in without really saying that. You know, but you see the camera, you can see the gun behind Myron's back. Myron's saying he's not scared, but he's acting scared. Um, he wouldn't go out and fight the guy. And yeah, the guy had another guy with him and that was recording. Um, but Myron wouldn't go out there. He wouldn't get close within 20 feet. And he had a gun. You know what I mean? He was saying he wasn't scared, but he was acting scared. You know, so that whole thing there. And it's just funny with all this drama they've been going through these past couple weeks. Because John Anthony has been calling them out months ago. Months ago. Radio silence on all of it. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess because what he was saying is true. But I know they did do like a little uh, show explaining themselves through all this drama. And, you know, I didn't watch I haven't watched it. But. You know, it's just from what I heard, it, it, it doesn't really help explain anything. It just kind of supports them and tries to, you know, deny everything else. All the other people are saying. So obviously they're not being 100 percent honest. Um, but, you know, it's just crazy because these guys, I, I watched them while they were coming up here last year. Um, you know, the Cario show, Steve the Dean, Alpha Keenum. They were cool guys. They were humble. They were really spitting out good game, you know, and it's just sad here to learn that they don't practice what they preach when it comes to their game, you know what I mean, and they really are more caught up in clout, and they got caught up in, 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 in the fame and, and, and their quick rise on YouTube, 
You know what I mean? And it's just not good because now all they're following, they're following them. And I get attacked with some of my videos because of stuff that they say and other people like them say. You know? Um, and it's just sad just because it's like what they're doing is lying and manipulating their followers. And they're making them weak men. You know? And uh, and it's amazing. When they're at this rise, they're so high. It's still, they're pretty high. They they got down a, a few notches. And I forgot to mention, they issued that uh, apology because they lost about 40,000 subscribers in a, in, a, in a few days because of the drama between Abba and Preach. So, that's pretty big. Um, but I do want to say, they rose so fast. They're still pretty high. And one thing you got to know, if you want to be the best, you got to know how to handle drama. And they did a poor, poor job. Um, at the end of the day, except for the one when it comes to the sexual harassment and um, all that. And even then, you just say it was just a bad situation. You apologize, move on. You don't bash the people. You don't send your people after them. You know, but you definitely don't challenge people to a boxing match. That's, that's weak. That's weak. That's what weak men do because it's not going to solve anything. And it's a waste of time. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, that's all I got on that. It's a lot. I'm going to make links. I'm going to uh, put some links to their videos and all the videos I mentioned. Um, except for the, um, what is it? The, um, the little response to the allegation. Well, I might even do that too. Fuck it. <laughs> I might do that too. Forget it. So, um, but yeah, I'll put links to the videos and, uh, yeah. So you can watch it for yourself. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. A little bit of a different video, but if you got anything you'd like to say, whether you agree with what they did, with what they did, fresh and fit, or you disagree, let me know. Comments, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. And of course, again, if you have other video topics you want me to talk about, let me know. Again, this channel isn't just for me. It's for you guys as well. I want to help you guys be the best in all aspects of your life. Um, if you find value in this video, I appreciate donations. Any little bit counts. You know what I mean? Um, and last but not least, of course, I want y'all to be safe. You know, and I want y'all to keep watching. And of course, till next week, I will see y'all then. Always remember, the strongest man is the happiest man.